Welcome to this guided journey where we will be connecting with the Egyptian deity Thoth, Dehudi, thrice great, the one that was in the beginning with the word, the one that was the word, this powerful creative being that many of the past wisdom teachings attribute as a source of collected knowledge, the wisdom that was passed from civilization to civilization is believed to have come by word from Thoth. The ibis-headed being, sometimes also seen as with the head of a baboon, can be a powerful source of inspiration for those that identify as writers, artists, musicians, creators, entrepreneurs, spiritual teachers, and wisdom keepers. Thoth holds the keys to understanding oneself and how the universe interacts around and within you. So with that, we will begin finding yourself in a comfortable place where you can sit or lay down. And as your eyes begin to find a comfortable gaze on the wall or ceiling above, become aware of your breath, the inhale and the exhale. Notice the rise and fall of the belly and chest. And as you continue to breathe, allow the body to become more and more relaxed perhaps allowing your eyes to gently close if this feels right for you. Allowing any tension in the shoulders and the back, hips and joints to begin to melt away. Feeling the lightness as the body begins the process of letting go, letting go. Breathing and relaxing into the heart space. Notice the lungs and the diaphragm expanding. The ease of the breath becoming more apparent as you continue on this relaxing journey. And this journey begins with you inside a chamber made of translucent green emerald walls you sit inside this chamber and see the four walls surrounding you, the ceiling and the floor made of this brilliant stone. And though you find yourself inside a chamber, you're able to perceive that it is a chamber inside a large pyramid structure. And high above the apex where the pyramid walls meet is the sun illuminating the walls of the chamber you sit inside. Notice the structure around you. Perhaps there are symbols, words, or a texture that is present. This chamber represents your heart space. So notice whatever it is that's making itself known to you here. The sunlight continues to illuminate this emerald chamber and you find yourself sitting across from Thoth. He presents himself to you, perhaps with the head of the ibis, or of a baboon, or perhaps some other form. His presence seems to tower over you with a strength and internal confidence like nothing you have ever experienced before. Yet, you feel safe, though he stands before you emanating this energy of a loving and caring father. He speaks to you. Welcome, blessed child. Welcome home to this place where inspiration, ideas can be created. They come into form and you as creator tap into this. It is here that Thoth will do an activation an awakening of the heart space and activating your ka, your dream body and the part of your soul that is connected to your life essence. He will activate your hands, your voice, your feet and your crown. So as you begin to receive these blessings, notice the sensations that arise. Beginning with the root of your being, Thoth rests the palms of his hands on the soles of your feet. Electricity pulsating through the opening channels of your feet. 
connecting you to the earth and your ancestral lineage. As this channel is cleansed, you feel a sense of grounded presence here. You feel connected to the past and all the wisdom that came before you. You get a sense of stability and security as this channel to the earth continues to flow with brilliant light from this great teacher's hands. And trusting that it is safe to be connected to the wisdom you receive, you allow it to flow. places hands on the top of your head. The activation of your crown begins. You become aware of the connection to the divine, the infinite source of all, your higher consciousness, your divinity, the aspects of you that are divine. And here, Tehuti begins to cleanse away the unnecessary thoughts the procrastination, the doubt that seems to linger through the monkey chatter of the mind. Allow this process to do what it needs to. With the crown of your head and the soles of your feet open to the divine channel, the light from the sun reflecting through the emerald stone walls, this light begins to enter into the feet and your crown. This light moves through the throat, up into the womb and the sacral space, and together these energies meet in your heart. And the energy of the heart space begins to fill the entire chest cavity of your body, expanding out through the front and out through the back of your body. A current of energy pouring in from the source all around you. A receiving and gifting of life energy Imagining a toric-like energy emanating from you through the body, out from your heart. And Thoth continues to bless you with this activation. And from this place, you are invited to receive the insights, wisdom, and understanding. Whatever creative spark that is desiring to connect with you here. And Thoth whispers in your ear a message, a key of wisdom meant solely for you. Receive this message with an open heart and invite it to connect with your being.
connecting once more to your heart. Notice the energy flowing in and out of your field. And Thoth places two fingers on your third eye at your brow point and two fingers at the womb space just below your belly button, fully awakening these spaces. The three chalices, third eye, the heart, and the womb, carrying the source of all that is necessary for you to create whatever it is you're meant to create here on this planet in this lifetime. And in gratitude, Thoth rises, extending both of his arms up into 90 degree angles, palms facing forwards, fingers pointing to the sky, symbolizing that your Ka is fully activated. And taking his leave as you continue to bask in the energy of this activation in the sacred space. You may stay here as long as you like and return whenever you wish.